Welcome to KSP. Today, I'm going to try to figure out remote tech. This is my sandbox save because I don't really want to toy with this on career. Is it the large one? Yeah, it's the large one. I want. Let's do a small one. I just want to figure out the mechanics of this thing. Actually, you know what? Let me load up what I had tried using. Uh, where is it? Comsat probe one. I found out this thing sucks because oh, the or the launch vehicle is nice. It, it, it does the trick. I have lots of delta v, as we can see over here. 8.3, so I could do a moon landing with this thing and come back, but that's not the point. So I have a single RTG, and then I have four of these little goobers, and then this little uh, always-on one. This is to cover the launch uh, aspect of the flight. But I found out, yeah, the Comtech EXP VR2Ts, these things suck down battery. As I can see here, 0.18 charge a second, and then the probe requires electricity, and then where's the thing here? This requires a little bit of a charge a second, 0 0.01. So if you have only one charge a second, and your probe's taking up some of that, and you got four antennas that you just stupidly activated, despite not having four things to talk about, or to talk with, yeah, it didn't go very well my probe ended up dying. So, I think what we'll do is we'll throw some battery banks on this thing. And then, and then, we will put on some photovoltaics. I'm going to go for these uh, 1x6 shielded ports, and we're going to do four of them. So they should uh, give it a nice little look. I don't have RCS on this thing, it's only going to have its own torque, although I think I want to do this. This thing had issues trying to steer with just capsule torque, so we'll go 0.5.1. Okay, that's half. The oh, yeah, that's right. This is now the new... I kind of miss it when it's a larger size, but I guess it's that size from now on out. Uh, it could be a mod that adjusted it, I don't know. All right, so I got battery. I got generation of battery power. I have my one antenna for ground comms. I need an antenna or two for comms with other things. Because this is going to be my low carbon orbit widget. Oh, that's big. Wow, 2.8 a second. It snaps under high dynamic pressure. Uh, 0.6. 0.18 tells me it's got a om omnidirectional range of 5 million meters. This is 3. Uh, dish range, 16. So I'm... Heh, <laughs> 2.5. But it's slightly less charge. That's 500 kilometers. So you know what? You could just use four of these guys, and that should cover a low carbon orbit network. In which case, my original design well, might have actually worked. Oh well. And we're going to call this two because I still have uh, version ones in LKO and they flopped. They did not work. They're dead sticks because they have no battery. The RTG does not make enough power to keep them alive. All right, I got void installed here, so I can easily see my specifics. Let's just get up into a 100 kilometer LKO orbit. LKO orbit, that's redundant. I just woke up, I'm still trying to nurse my coffee. Sorry, that was the mug hitting it, hitting the mic. 
So not only am I operating on only about five hours of sleep, I'm also half awake, and I'm trying to do something I'm not used to doing here in KSP. So this should be entertaining for everybody. It's all good. So it says I have line of sight. Do I? Between these two probes. But this probe does not have anything for his line of sight. So this shows an active link. So I guess these are just either they're dead or they're broken by Kerbin. Okay, what's my altitude? I'm not going fast enough yet. Oh, I know why. I ran out of fuel on those tanks. Bye. Explosions. Yeah, see, trying to do this while half asleep is not recommended. Don't try this at home, kids. I am a trained amateur. <laughs> like, house trained. Self-deprecating. Is this, hey babe, is it self-deprecating? Like, self-deprecating humor? I'm not awake either. Oh, you're not, okay, she was worthless. She's watching The Sims 4 Legacy Challenge videos from the guy who made the original Sims, uh, Pin Pinstar, is that his name? Yeah, that's what got her into gaming. And then we got her into Star Wars Galaxies, and then she moved on to playing first-person shooters on consoles, even though PC Master Race all up in this house, but anyway. She beat Homeworld, legitimately. I didn't. She still holds that over my head. Because she's pro like that. But Sims is what got her... Yeah, I had a um, uh, resource trainer. And yeah, I sucked. Oh yeah, hello. Now because I have battery only power, I want to extend panels. I should in action groups. See, I probably either sound like I'm stoned or drunk. Actually, I'm just not awake yet. Okay, so I got this nifty little flight computer here. I have no idea how to make it work. <laughs> but I should have line of sight at apoapsis to circularize the orbit. Then I will lose communications. That's okay. That's 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 quite all right. Go full power. Do this now. And let's make sure we don't go down any. We can see it here. Sure. What's the communication range on this mess? 500 meter kilometers? Alright, so having an apoapsis of 375 isn't a big deal. But hey, since I screwed that up. That was stupid. <laughs> that could have been really bad. Yeah, not a good idea to play the game when you're half awake. Okay. So, what's going to happen now is I got links with the um, KSC at this time, but I'm not going to have links with it in a bit. Yeah, no connection. I just lost it. So, I need to hurry up and go back to the launch facility and do another one. Pardon me. So, I'm thinking what I'll have to end up doing is having a... Uh, a ring of low-powered satellites in LKO and then I'll put something beefier in Geosync at, what is it, 2.8 million meters or something crazy like that? Roughly. As long as you get a six-hour orbit period, it's all good. And now I'm beginning to see the case justifying McJeb because this would get kind of tedious on, like, 
I'll still resist a siren call to automate everything. Because I like flying rockets manually. That's just how I am. So I discovered that the A's parts pack, the probe cores are immune from uh, remote tech limitations, which means you can control the probe even though you don't have line of sight with anything. They're immune. They're pretty cool in that regard. But that's also really cheating. So I went through my directory and deleted all those command parts for the A's specific probe cores. Then I discovered that the A's pack radio transmitters, transceivers, do not work with remote tech. And even though they're all really cool and nifty and awesome and all that, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to get rid of these things because I don't feel like messing with the configuration file to make them compatible. And we have enough stock parts uh, to cover that usage anyway, so I'm really not missing much. Which means on my sandbox save, I lost a few things because those parts suddenly vanished and the game says I can't load this because those parts don't exist, I'm like fine, whatever. And then my non-recorded career, not the one I'm doing for recording purposes, the uh, mod career challenge, that save ended up getting affected and all my probes went bye-bye. But my career didn't get affected at all because all I've done with that is manned missions. And I haven't used any A's parts or A's command pods or transmitters for that stuff. Alright, so let's go to 100,000 meters again. So actually, I have all the gauges this time. Alright, here we go. Time accelerator way up there. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Okay, now the route atmosphere. I can turn you guys on. So yeah, no nose cones. I'm not using far. If I was using far, I would totally have a nose cone on here. Because nose cones are awesome in real life and with FAR. You can get blunt stuff into orbit with FAR installed. You don't have to have nose cones, but they really help. Okay, 45 seconds to apoapsis. I still have line of sight. Good. And I can get line of sight with that probe, so that's actually going to work for me very well. So, how do I... I did it once. I'm just not sure how you go about doing it again. Is that how you do it? No, because it would have done it already. I don't know. Maybe I should read the fine manual. RTFM and figure this out right. I mean, there's guys on the on the Facebook group I'm in that would totally uh, tell me what I need to do. But okay, so I just lost line of sight with it too. Perfect. I couldn't even set up the comm network if I wanted to, because I no longer have the ability to do anything. All right, that's gonna get irritating. So yeah, but at least these are all operational. I just can't tell it to do anything now. It's a dead stick. Nothing happens. I have no control. But that'll work great. So let's go to the Space Center and see. I have an idea. I was wanting to think to see if I could plonk down like a relay station. Like I could parachute something like this onto the island airstrip. So I would go like that. 
and then I put landing legs on it. I totally don't need all this here. That's a waste. Go away. Landing legs, landing legs. Where are landing legs? The rest of the ace parts are uh, are pretty cool. I kept the engines. I kept the fuel tanks because they work. They work very well. Deployed. Okay. Battery bank. Hey, let's set up action keys too. How's that? So on custom one, we're going to do extend. That'll be it. And I want a parachute. Let's do a little parachute. Yeah, I wonder if I can just send this thing pretty much as is. I'll put that little guy on here. We'll start extended. All right, so that should be plenty for the island airfield. Once we fix that, okay. And then this thing will come probe ground relay one. So have that's if I have line of sight with KSC from the island airstrip because that gives me a little bit more coverage. Plus, it gives me more options. So I go like that. Go like that. I gotta go that way. Hmm. Wondering if plane would actually be better. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Let's actually try something completely different. Let's do a plane instead. Let's just revert that mess. I want a plane to do that because it'll serve the same purpose. I know how to fly a basic plane. I suck at making... Uh, whoa. The camera in SPH is all weird. Okay, so let's do propulsion. My plane goodies are way at the end here. Let's go for stubby. Parts, uh, um, a part sorting thing would be really cool right about now, but anyway. I should be able to get by with just a little double engine thing. Actually, I could probably just do a single. Yeah, that might actually do it just fine. I shall call you Stubby. Okay, I need some wingage. Turn on those indicators. It's not wingage, that's wingage. Mm. Where are you? Oh, you're cute. We can go for cute. That looks like something out of Fallout. Eh. It's clipping into the engine, but I don't care. So it's a little nose heavy. But you know what? We can fix that very easy. Something like that. Perfect. Put some gear on this bad boy. This atrocious looking space plane. This is strictly a hack job. Uh, let's put you forward a bit more for stability sake. Alright, now we need some science parts. Um, yeah, let's put some of you on, like that, that should be enough, and then we'll put some solars on here, because it's going to get parked, actually let's put some batteries on here too, batteries, 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 hey, let's do the so battery power on that thing? 250? Probably not enough. Let's do some beefy batteries. Because we can. I got it not snapped to grid here. 
can't really change that uh, center of gravity too much with these. I know they're not. Are those massless too? I don't know. Okay, and then we're going to go one by six panels on the wings. And we'll do another set of one by six panels up forward. We'll action key that. Extend and extend. Okay. So, I need a rudder. Rudders, 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 rudders. Where are my rudders? Missed it. We'll do one of these. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's ugly and cute at the same time. It'll be plain. Coffee, coffee good. I'm a fan of the Starbucks via packets, nice and convenient. Let's go plane. Pretty stable. Not really, but hey, that's what canards are for. Oh yeah, do not turn, do not pitch up too quickly or we have issues. Got it. Yes, right away on some. We don't need to be full blow, full blown. Actually, yeah, I want to get there. Time accelerate because hey, it's only like what, a couple parts. So, yeah, not too bad. Ugly as sin. Ha! I should have taken oxygen out of these things. In fact, in. Oops, that canceled that out. Eh, it doesn't matter, we're going to be there in a minute. So, yeah, it's only going to give us a few kilometers more extra range, but hey, you know what? It's something. Get some lights here. Here, straddle back a bunch. Right, I see the water. Turn the brakes on already. And hope this thing flies. And glides okay. And lands. It doesn't go or splatter everywhere. Oh, oh, I need power. I need power. That was not what I wanted to do. This is not an air, uh, air show. I lost control. That's what happened. You cannot reach the airstrip with the probe. I have no line of sight with KSC. Well, that's good to know. Explosions! Well, I'm kind of at a loss as to what to do now. Now we have a light permanently stuck here as a testament to my hubris. And the other tank survived. How strange is that? Okay, anyway. <sighs> learning curve. This will have a nice learning curve. Well, let's see how our comm network is doing. Maybe I can play with it. See, that doesn't even have a transmitter. This is the first iteration. Yeah, let's fly you. I'll show you what I ended up having to deal with. Let's say, get this thing in the sun. Wherever the sun may be. Okay, so here, I do have line of sight now. Your 
active. Alright, so it's my power. Discharging. Deactivate. Deactivate. Alright, so... Four is too much. Three, uh, three is okay. So I have line of sight. So this probe works. So I can leave this the way it is. What about its brethren? Now because it's been uh, not power, once I get line of sight with uh, KSC, yeah, see, there we go, it's line of sight. I can kill one of these transmitters. Deactivate. That gives me enough surplus energy that I can actually use it. So these aren't complete losses, but they're too far apart to communicate with each other. So I need something in the middle. So I can have a ring of like, I don't know, eight or so. Let's switch to this guy. The slightly better version. I don't have line of sight with anything. I have line of sight with these guys. But they're not active and his orbit's kind of screwball. So yeah, my relay network is chopped up. I need at least one more. Okay, so... I can make a link there. How do I do that? Is, do I have a link now? Is it actually going to tell me I have a link? I do! Alright! So that's how that works. I'm going to lose power though. Alright, so I have two satellites that are connected up. And they should have enough power on their battery. Plenty of juice to survive the nighttime periods. All right, so we're learning something. This will be good. So I just need more of these. And I think I'll be able to do it. Let's see what the uh, map says. All right, so I got one there, so we can actually wait some. OK, you know what? Now we will go back. And launch another probe. Wait for stuff to load up. Comsat probe 2, launch. Yeah, this will greatly affect my career if I try to do probes. Because I will need to save up a large amount of cash. What do I have? My stage is locked. Oh, I don't know why. It's, it's not active. My stages are locked. Weird. I cannot get my stage unlocked. Alt L? Shift L? Control L? the button for that. That's going to be irritating because I'm going to do these manually. That's going to be a pain. I mean, in theory, I have enough uh, thrust weight ratio to fly up with those still stuck on there, but it's not recommended at all. You can see? I can't figure out the stupid key for that. I'm so pro at this game. I'm so pro I decided to do my gravity turn like 2,000 meters early. Yeah. <laughs> I am not awake yet. I should not even be trying to do this. Alright, so I got line of sight with the other satellite. Very good. I suppose it would be better to have more satellites than what you strictly need than less. 
because you end up having too little, then you end up having gaps in your coverage. But if you have more, then I guess you have spare capacity. So that means I should be able to just go ahead and manually control this. Well, no. I should be able to manually control these further ones because this will serve as a relay until it loses line of sight with KSC. It's kind of a shallow arc. Yeah, it is. That's really shallow. I don't know what I'm doing. I've been playing this game for over two years and I'm screwing this up totally today. And I know it. Yeah, we can go pretty much procreate. Good enough of a target. Hey, I got a pretty good um, orbital velocity, though. Ready for small miracles. Okay, now while I have comms at this point, Hope so, because if this thing shuts down, I don't have comms anymore. This will be embarrassing. 74, 130. Kind of suckage, but oh well. What can you do? And go ahead and talk, decouple you because you care. Oh, I just lost it. Oh, I don't have the... Oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> no, I don't have it anymore. Oh, hey, it turned itself off. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, stinking wonder bar. <laughs> so now I got power consumption. Oh, I got plenty. I'm like, why was I worried? Okay, and because the probes are all at different orbits, they're totally not going to stay nice and spread out like I had hoped. So I guess precision orbiting maneuvers would be a good thing, you know? That's okay. In a bit here, I will actually have line of sight with KSC again. Because... Ta-da! Alright, so that's epilapsis. Periapsis. Extend panels. Get rid of you. Yeah, see? So nice and sprightly now. Well, now it wants to stage, but the light's red. So I guess the more you get here, the easier it's going to get. Wow, well, that's cutting close. I just might circulate at 100. Oh, you know what? I don't think I'll be able to do that. Nope. The apoapsis is too far away. But I could fix that one now. Yes, I have line of sight. I'm not going to have line of sight for long. What do I need to do in order to adjust my orbit? Okay, 197 versus 100. 1578 oh, 116 okay I, I lost it okay we don't have line of sight anymore because this just finally crapped out all right now I could if I did it right I could have planned a maneuver if I figure out how to use this thing but okay so yeah, this is uh, remote tech, and it's proving to be a bit of a challenge. But that's okay. I'm up to the challenge. I'll figure it out eventually after I toss parts at the screen and probes in the orbit everywhere. So thanks for watching.